Hi guys, so I thought I would start out 2022 with a nice video for all the guys that are watching me. I wanted to do a video on your fragrance wardrobe. So what does this mean? It basically means I want to recommend a few fragrances dedicated to a specific occasion or time of the year. So basically I have a few different categories and I want to give you guys some recommendations so that if you're new to fragrance, even if you're not new, I just want to give you some of my personal recommendations of what I think is appropriate. So the categories that I have, let me just read them out for you guys to kind of complete your fra- I just spat everywhere. So the categories that I think you need for your fragrance wardrobe, you need a casual fragrance. You need something that you can wear at any time, anywhere, any place. You can just throw it on and feel good. You smell good. You smell fresh, clean, whatever. You need a casual fragrance, 100%. Then you need a work fragrance, whether you work in an office or you work on a construction site or you work in a hospital, you need a work fragrance, 100%. Then you need a dating fragrance. You need a dating fragrance if you're going on a date with your wife, your girlfriend, or you're going on a first date, you need a good dating fragrance. Then you need a night out fragrance. A night out fragrance is my favorite category. You need a good night out fragrance that makes you stand out, that you smell sexy, that you smell attractive, that you're gonna appeal to people. You need this one in your life. Then you also need a summer fragrance and a winter fragrance, something that is appropriate for both seasons, either summer and spring or fall and winter. You need one fragrance for each of these categories. And you also need a formal fragrance. So if you're going to a wedding, if you're going to a formal event, a work party or something like that, you need a nice formal fragrance. These are just my personal recommendations I wanna share with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Starting out with your casual fragrance. My recommendation is from Hermes and it is not Tether Hermes as much as I love and adore Tether Hermes. Truly, I think it's one of the best men's fragrances ever released. I'm going to go ahead and recommend the new H24, which is absolutely fantastic. As far as an easy reach and casual fragrance goes, I really think that H24 is fabulous. It's very fresh and clean, yet very sophisticated. It has a slight aromaticness to it. It's a little bit cold, but yet fresh and very appealing. I really cannot see somebody not liking this fragrance at all. It's a very appealing scent and it just smells clean, minimalistic, fresh and sophisticated. And I really think that this is the perfect fragrance. If you just are wearing a white t-shirt and some shorts, H24 is gonna do the job. It is a fantastic scent. And I really, really like this release from Hermes. So is it as masterful and incredible as Tether Hermes? No, but I still really, really love the fragrance myself. And it's something that I would love to smell on my partner. So H24 from Hermes is my casual recommendation for 2022. And the longevity and projection of the scent is really good. It's not crazy. It's not something that's going to explode the room. It's not super long lasting or super projecting, but it does last and it does project within your arm's length. So it's a good scent. And next up, we have your work fragrance. Now, my personal favorite is Prada Lom. It is a favorite of mine. I absolutely love this scent. And every time I smell it, I just fall in love with this fragrance. It is just beautiful. It's very clean, yet it's very luxurious. It has a very luxurious smell to it from the iris note that's in the fragrance. There is a beautiful pepperiness on the top from some black pepper. There's a bit of neroli in there to give it kind of like a freshness to the fragrance. But then you have this beautiful base notes. There is some iris, which gives it a creaminess and that luxurious smell, slightly powdery, is coming from the iris. It's very clean, luxurious, sophisticated, yet it still has like a masculine DNA to it. And I just absolutely love Prada Lom. You cannot go wrong with this fragrance. Longevity and projection is really good. I would say you get about eight hours of longevity and the projection is decent. It is a fantastic fragrance. And if you don't already have it in your collection, I highly recommend getting this one for work. It's definitely more suitable to an office setting or if you work more indoors. Outdoors, you could still wear it for sure, but I think it's less appropriate for an outdoor situation. Next up, let's go to my summer recommendation, which I... I'm just so excited to speak about this fragrance because for me, it is one of the best summer fragrances that I've smelled for a guy 
hands down. The fragrance is from Zerzhov and it is Torino 21, which I believe is a limited edition. I'm not sure if it's limited, if it's going to go like once it's sold out, it's gone forever. I will make sure to check and I will link it down below. But this fragrance is just one of the best fresh fragrances that I have ever smelled. It is fantastic. So, it is very, very, very intense. It's very fresh. You have a lot of mint. There is a green freshness to it. There is some basil, some mint, a little bit of a herbaceous quality to the fragrance. It's very invigorating, very fresh and very long lasting, which is why I want to recommend it to you guys right now. I am not sure if this one is limited edition. I will make sure to check. Um, but if it is, you guys need to run out and get this one for the summertime. It is just fantastic. Like I said, very invigorating, very fresh, very green. It smells like, wow, like it really hits you in the face with its freshness. The thing that I really appreciate about this fragrance is the fact that it lasts a long time on your skin, which is very hard to do. To make a fresh, citrusy, bright fragrance last a long time on your skin is quite challenging and they really achieved it with Torino 21. So for me, this would be definitely my recommendation for all of you men watching me right now. Uh, if you wanted to get a very long lasting, very fresh summer fragrance, Torino 21 is the one that I would go to. Fantastic for the summertime, absolutely love it. Very expensive smelling, the quality of the ingredients, it smells very, very, very good, very high quality, love it so much. And then my winter fragrance recommendation, no change from me to 2021 to 2022. I'm still going to recommend you guys Herod because if you haven't bought it yet, you need to get it in your collection. And if you haven't, why are you watching me? Because you don't belong here. Herod is the sexiest fragrance. One of the sexiest fragrances that I've ever smelled. It's sweet, tobacco, woody, smooth, sexy. It almost has like this cherry liquor sort of smell to it. Like a boozy cherry tobacco vibe. It is just completely sex in a bottle and I love it to death still to this day. Um, so yeah, this would definitely be my winter recommendation for you guys. If you could only get one fragrance for your winter wardrobe, it would be Herod. The best, guys. If you haven't got it already, why are you still watching my channel? Because I don't understand. Okay guys, so let's go to date night. We have Jazz Club from Maison Martin Margiela. Uh, yes, this is my date night recommendation for all of you guys watching me right now. This is the best. It's smooth, it's boozy, it's woody, it has some tobacco. Actually, it has a lot of notes in common with Herod, but they don't smell anything alike. Herod is sweeter, in my opinion. Very, very sweet. There's a lot of vanilla, there is some cinnamon, there is like this cherry, almost slightly fruitiness to it. But Jazz Club is more creamy and smooth and boozy and woody. And it is just divine. This is the one that I recommend for a date night. It's more intimate. It's very sexy. It's very mysterious. It's very sensual. It's just the best fragrance that you can get. It has rum, it has tobacco, it has pink pepper. It has a lot of woodiness underneath, but very creamy and woody. It's just perfection. This is what I would want to smell on a guy if I was going on a date. This is the fragrance that I would want to smell in 2022. So guys, go and get Jazz Club. It's not too expensive. It's not it's not cheap, but it's not too expensive. It's kind of in the middle. I definitely recommend Jazz Club uh, if you're going on a date this year. This is my recommendation. We have your formal situation. This is my recommendation right here. It is Perfect Oud from the brand Mise en Soeur. Now for me, this is one of the best fragrances that I smelled last year. It is absolutely fantastic. Now, you do have to be a little bit acquainted with the scent of Oud, but don't be scared because this fragrance is just... <sighs> wow. Perfect Oud from Mise en Soeur is a very clean and luxurious and expensive smelling Oud. Oud can often come across as quite animalic and quite dirty. Not at all in this fragrance. The fragrance smells very fresh, clean, almost a little bit soapy, yet it still smells like oud. So just imagine a stripped back version of the scent of oud 
and that is what it smells like in this fragrance. Like I said, clean, fresh, soapy, yet it's still an oud fragrance. It is just absolutely fantastic and it smells like luxury. If you're a guy that wants to smell very luxurious, like you have a lot of money, you have nice cars, whatever, doesn't matter if you don't have it, I don't care, but get this fragrance because that's exactly what it smells like. You smell like you have a very, very crazy life and this fragrance is just wow. Perfect Oud from Maison Sur, one of my favorite fragrance discoveries last year. Guys, for me, this is the perfect fragrance. Even if you're going to the office, you could wear this one, but especially for an event formal situation, Perfect Oud is the best. Love it so much. Longevity and projection is amazing on Perfect Oud. It lasts a long time on your skin and it projects a lot, so no problem with that. And yeah, that's my recommendation. The final category we have is Night Out. So I know that you guys were waiting for this one. My recommendation is Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, if you're a subscriber of my channel, you know how much I love this fragrance. It is one of my favorite fragrances in the world for men. I just adore it. It is very, very sexy. It is masculine. It is a little bit sweet. It has some vanilla, a little bit of spice, a little bit of patchouli. It's woody. It's sexy. It's ambery. There is definitely an amberiness to the fragrance. A little bit of a spiciness, a bit of a greenness, and it is just... This for me is just one of the best men's fragrances in the entire world. And for me, if I had to pick what situation you guys would wear this one in, it would be a night out. You wanna show out, you wanna show off, I should say. You wanna be noticed, you wanna attract people. This is the night out fragrance to go for. You're gonna get stopped, noticed, people are gonna come up to you, they're gonna ask what you're wearing, they're gonna tell you that you smell incredible. You should be wearing a leather jacket. If I could recommend you wearing something with this fragrance, it would be a leather jacket because it has a little bit of a leatheriness to it, a bit of a greenness, a bit of a spice in the top, sweetness and amberiness. It is just a 12 out of 10 fragrance that that's it. That's all I can say about this scent. It is one of the best and this will be my night out recommendation for you guys. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. All of the fragrances will be linked down below and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys again. I hope that you like this fragrance wardrobe 2022. I thought about this list for quite a long time because for me, I have a lot of men's fragrances in my collection, but if I had to pick out of everything, these would be the ones that I would choose. So yeah. Thank you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.